So we put the people here who come and who pass running in the US. Uh pass in the US. Well, yes. So in fact we are singing, you have a chance to pass. But when we are in the chiefs, uh you sit. We don't need your jacket. Okay, one laugh, one like me, okay, she came up and she said. So
tributes, tributes from farm. Mr. Emmanuel Ojo, affectionately called Uncle Ojo, passed away on Tuesday, October 24th, 2023, at the University Medical Center, Lebon, Accra. He was 81 years old. Uncle Atu was born in March 1942 at Cape to his late father, Mr. Emmanuel Ochu, and mother, Madame Mary Tilia Young. He was the second of 12 children of his mother. Uncle Atu was raised by his guardians from Beth who were our grandparents called Ifu, Auntie Ifua Tenner and Mr. Robert Henry Kwanza. The young Atu was educated in a school at Usu, a suburb of Accra. He graduated at the end of his education at standard seven and went on to improve himself by doing other trainings and various courses. Uncle Atu enrolled in the Department of Statistics where he worked very hard and rose through the ranks to a high in Accra in 1950. And later on in the same year, he joined the Anglican Church. Uncle Atu loved working in the church and cherished praising the Lord, serving on several committees and always enjoyed helping others. He served as a great model, role model to the youth and also worked in various parts of the Anglican Church. He worked in other prominent areas of his church for many years until his health prevented him from serving. Uncle Atu retired from active service in the church but continued to attend Sunday service to worship his Lord and Maker. Uncle Atul loved to read his Bible, praying for and with others, spending time with family, laughing and always wearing a smile on his face. He was a loving and caring person, devoted to his wife, mother and friends. He always thought first of others. To know him was to love him. His favorite color was white and is without a doubt a mirror of his personality. He also loved his music and often entertained us, his nephews, with classical music and jazz. Emmanuel Ochu cherished his children. Eric Nana Echo Otu, Richmond Nana Bay Otu, Mrs. Rita Nana in Sabueba Adio, Edward Benasco Abba Otu, Samuel Edwin Atu Yamiche Otu, and a host of nieces, nephews, cousins, and friends. Uncle Atu, may your soul rest in perfect peace. Whether we live, we live unto the Lord. Or whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live, therefore, or die, we are the Lord's. Romans 14, verse 8. Our hearts are broken, shattered, and in pain as we write this tribute. Your demise took us by great surprise, Grandpa. Who knew that 24th October 23 was our last day seeing you, Grandpa? I recall us bringing a reclining chair to your residence about 10 days prior and surprisingly, the whole family was around with you. We all laughed and smiled. Your grandchildren played and smiled around. We visited you again a week after and we all had a fun moment, only to later hear in two days time. Only to hear only to hear in two days' time 
that Grandpa has passed on to the Heavenly Father. So it was your last wave to us that Sunday evening, a forever goodbye wave. Oh, Dada, the heavens know how much of a pillar you are in our lives. You played both grandfather and grandmother when all this war after your wife, our grandma, passed away in 2007. Your love for us was so much, and no one will ever love us like you did, Grandpa. You were always caring to your grandchildren, and always surprised us from the wrongs and rights in society. You always came from the truth, Grandpa. Never tasted anything to suit anyone. You always made us understand the essence of being truthful and the rewards of integrity. You will always recall and live by the precepts of life to share with us. You will always pray for the whole family, everyone, every blessed moment. You always advise us not to touch anything that is not ours. And not to also do to your brother or neighbor what you have done to what you have done to you. These morals you can still in us always make us stand out in the world. We are thankful, Grandpa, for all that you taught us and did for us. Who would make our Redeemer and Christmas seasons more than our Redeemer and Grandpa? You always make the Redeemer and Christmas seasons special and more than us. You will organize and decorate the wedding with your favorite Christmas decorations, together with Christmas lights. We play as Christmas carols where you explain the history behind the scenes and the absence of signs in the show. Share this case together with the first ones of Pebbles and families who give to all children, grandchildren, parents, and the neighborhood to celebrate the Christmas spirit. We now can hear the stories about your childhood and how you grew up. Stories that show you the whole power and the temptation to pursue your dreams despite the obstacles you face from God. Every time you go to the picking to your history, every moment of you was a blessing full of genuine love which will live with us in our grandpa. Although it hurts to see even born, your memories will forever live with us, grandpa. We are happy to witness before your demise, and we are happy man. You are a happy man, grandpa, and enjoy most parts of your life healthy and strong. God gave us the opportunity to see you in gracefully and have fun filled moments with you, even in your last days. At the end, it will be more kind and protect your precious soul. Your legacy will continue to inspire and guide us as we journey through the dreams of our own souls. So we need to take some part. Rest in peace, one part. Love for your young children. We will send two names after the names. We take a final two genes from our uh, if that child is here, they come out, if they are here, they come around, read the genes, and then the best version will be the last. So after the two names, then the last two genes will follow. Then we begin the main service, the main service. So whilst we are still in the name, if you desire to find us, please do so. In 517, at the end section, the third column or so, the fourth in as well, five, one, seven.
things of life. After the hymn, Stan Chats will have the privilege to read their tribute followed by the men's fellowship. Thank you. Which Christ is our Lord Jesus, those of us who are led in the end of the world, and those of us who are led in the end of the world, and those of us who are led in the end of the world, and those of us who are led in the end of the world.
God's presence as we celebrate the life, the work, and example of our dear Father, Emmanuel Great Richmond Otu, whom God has called to eternal rest. In this our morning of worship, we commit his soul to God's holy hands and ask God to wash him and bless him if there be any that will be found that cling onto his body and go to keep him under the bosom of Abraham. We the living beings too, who ask God to teach us to number our days, that we blow our heart with wisdom, because such a day will surely come on our way. Finally, we commit the family left behind, and the God of all comfort will comfort them. Let us pray. O oh, you who hear prayers on thy behalf, who laugh at some of us in love, help us now to wait upon you with reverence and sanity hearts, that we through patience and comfort suggest, may have hope and live above our distress into a life and peace of your presence. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O oh God, whose nature and properties are to have mercy and to be, we see our politicians for the soul of thy servants, in man with reason and We did the last moment in the battle of the Israel. We can not in the hands of the enemy, that forsake him at last. But among him, we see by all this, we brought to the country from us, for that as much as the man of hope and believe in thee, he may not have the pains of hell, but he may partake of the everlasting felicity through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We will chant the Psalm 121, Psalm 121, verse 6. Whilst we chant the Psalm 121. At the hymn section, the second leaf after the first. Psalm 121. <laughs> Good morning. 
Mr. Emmanuel Cliff Richmond Putu was born on 28th March. <laughs> Nineteen forty two in Cape Coast. This was in the then Gold Coast. He was born to Miss Mary Alley. He started schooling at an early age of two years at the English Church Mission School in Cape Coast. A year later, he joined his aunt. Mrs. Margaret Yale and her husband, Mr. R. H. Kwanza, who then moved to Tamale in 1945. They returned to Cape Coast a year later in 1946, before relocating to Osu in Accra. He spent the rest of his life as a resident of Accra and loved the capital city which became his new and lasting home. Upon completing his education at the Christenburg Number 2 School, he took a sabbatical to review career options. In 1962, he joined the Ghana Census Office, where he worked under Dr. Gale. Where he worked under Dr. Gale on some of the daily census programs conducted for Ghana. In 1966, he moved from the Ghana Census Office to the Central Bureau of Statistics and later transferred to the Economic Planning Department under the leadership of Dr. Gama, who later became the governor of the Central Bank, the Bank of Ghana. He spent 10 years at the Economic Planning Department before he switched from the public sector to the private sector to further his career. In 1976, he joined Standard Bank, which later became Stanchart. He worked in various roles in Stanchart until he left the bank in 1995 to pursue his personal interests. Mr. Otu was an avid lover of music. He told stories of his youth while he more liked it. As a member of the early bands, including the Ramblers of the Gold Coast era. He was a passionate guitar player for the bands he played in. His love for music transcended Ghanaian and African music to foreign music. He invested in a large music collection of records, tapes, CDs, and digital music, and enjoyed listening to various kinds of music, including blues, jazz, pop, rock and roll, and reggae. He loved these genres of music just as he loved the colonial Ghanaian music and other new community girls in the highlights. Essentially, he had a love of the electronic He took great job in the day of the Australian and followed the trends, the innovation, and the electronics in the electronics area. He would usually procure the latest electronic gadgets and also give them to others. As a hobby, the love of his wife. 
and wife. After some courtship in early 1976, and they were blessed with five children that he loved here.
shadow and never continues in one stage. In the midst of life we are in death. Of whom may we seek for succor? But of you, O Lord, who for our sins art justly displeased. Yet, O Lord God most holy, O Lord most mighty, O holy and most merciful Savior, deliver us not into the bitter pains of eternal death. You know, Lord, the secrets of our hearts. Shut not your merciful ears to our prayers, but spare us, Lord most holy, O God most mighty, 
O holy and merciful Savior, you most worthy judge eternal, suffer us not at our last hour for any things to fall from you. 401. In 401. La 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 Dust to dust, head to head, and dust to dust. Calmly now, the words we say, leaving him to sleep in dust till the resurrection day. Father, in thy gracious keeping, live with now thy Please, Almighty God, of His great mercy, to take unto yourself the soul thy servant Emmanuel. Clef, great man, O to ye departed, we therefore commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust. In short, and certain hope for such eternal life, you are Lord Jesus Christ. Who shall change our vile body that it may be like unto God's body according to the working where he is able to subdue all things to himself? I heard the voice from heaven say unto me, Right, from ends for blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Even so, say the Spirit, for they shall rest from their labor. Now, to the king, eternal, immortal, invisible God, God in Christ. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us, our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Let us pray, Almighty God, with whom lead the spirit of them that depart and the Lord, and with whom the souls of the faithful, after they live from the bed of the flesh, are in joy and felicity. We give every time our father and brother Emmanuel Cliff Richmond Otto. After the midst of this sinful world, we beseech you of your gracious goodness shortly to accomplish the number of dying let and to hasten your kingdom, that we, with all that thou depart in the faith of your holy name may have a consummation, every consummation, please, both in body and soul, in thy eternal everlasting glory, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O oh, merciful God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the resurrection of life, and who so ever lives and lives shall not die eternally, who have so covered by his holy apostles and Paul, not with sorrow as men sorrow as without hope. For that's what we mean. Immediately beseech you, O Father, to bring us from the death of sin to love righteousness, that when we shall depart this life, we may rest in Him, as I hope it is our Father and brother does, and our general resurrection to eternal life, be find acceptable to your sight, and receive that blessing which your well beloved Son shall pronounce to them that love of you, and you say, Come, ye blessed children of my Father, we see the kingdom of for you, and the world. Grant this we beseech ye, O merciful Father, Jesus, Amen. 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 Let's share the grace together. The, the grace, grace of, of our Lord Amen. Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forever. Amen. Breathe. From grandchildren. Amen. You see this with the name of God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.
Spirit, we hope that the day of resurrection to eternal life, our Father Emmanuel, who to rise and be the saints, and brought you by these flowers. Amen. Amen. Open your committee. Vote of thanks by a family member. Hey, okay, may you get one of us.
crazy.